I'm Anne Simmons reporting from the newsroom of the Los Angeles Times. It's an insidious little pest that's threatening to wreak havoc on California's agricultural economy. Tropical fruit flies have invaded the state and more than 250 eradication programs have failed to eliminate the bugs. Studies have concluded that if California were prevented from selling its crops due to a fruit fly infestation, it would cost the state $1.2 billion a year in gross state product. Joining me to talk about the spread of fruit flies and the battle to exterminate them is Times science reporter Monty Morin. Welcome, Monty. So tell us first of all, what exactly are tropical fruit flies? Where do they come from? Well, tropical fruit flies aren't the little gnats that you see hovering around your bananas. These are a much more um, insidious pest that lay their eggs in the, uh, the flesh of a uh, number of fruits and vegetables. There are many different species of uh, tropical fruit flies. The med fly or the Mediterranean fruit fly is perhaps the best known. They are not native to California. They come from tropical climes. They come from Southeast Asia and South Asia. And do we know when they first actually came to the United States, or to California in particular? They were first discovered in California in the early 1950s. Um, and the usual route that they would take into the uh, state would be through contraband fruit that was taken in from uh, folks traveling overseas. How widespread is the problem right now, the infestation? Do we have a cause for, for concern? There have been um, outbreaks of of tropical fruit flies every year for the last 44 years, and they include different um, species. It's a very serious problem if it's not controlled. Um, California's agriculture, agricultural industry is about $43.5 billion, um, and the threat that fruits and vegetables would need to be quarantined because of this is a very real threat. So state and federal agencies work very hard to control outbreaks. So this is a, extremely destructive, or, or could be, because we've said that it's actually threatening uh, to impact uh, California's economy. Is it doing so already? The state's done a very good job of staying on top of the, on top of the problem. The threat is that if it didn't, that uh, trading partners like Japan or other states would uh, embargo um, fruits and vegetables from California because they don't want the pest introduced into their own agricultural fields and backyard gardens. Right, and then why hasn't uh, past eradication efforts actually worked and what's, in, what's being planned now? Well, this is, this is uh, the topic of a study that's just uh, come out today uh, by the, in the proceedings of the Royal Society B, which is an English um, science journal. Um, the authors of that study are arguing that uh, the insects have actually made a home in California. The, me the Mediterranean uh, fruit fly, as well as four other species, are permanently um, residing in California, according to the study. The state insists that it has eradicated those uh, species and that they're just being introduced by foreign travelers. This new study says that after analyzing data going back 60 years, they can tell from the pattern of outbreaks and the number that they're living here at low levels and that they're never ever going to go away. So is that the final prognosis then, that we are stuck with these little bugs? According to the authors of the study, yes, and that we need to look at uh, long range uh, solutions in terms of uh, controlling them and living with them. Um, the state maintains that it's doing a very good job of monitoring them and controlling them when outbreaks occur. Well, thank you, Monty. This has been really interesting, a fascinating study. For more on this story and others, please visit the science section of the Los Angeles Times at latimes.com.